All right, something we started doing a few events ago uh, is called the Ignition Grant. We give out uh, all, all the money that we raise from ticket sales. Uh, we give out as grants to start a new project or program in the city. Uh, and the, the program is now being run by a, a wonderful woman named Kate Bladow. And I, I'd like to introduce, right. All right, yeah, give her a big round of applause. Um, and the way I want to introduce her is by quoting the adage, uh, if you want something done, ask a busy person. So with that, with that in mind, I'd like to invite Kate to come to the stage to announce the two winners who are each two Ignition Grants are giving out tonight. Please give it up for Kate. Uh, first, thank you to Heather Sarkissian for uh, roping me into this and getting me uh, to do the Ignition Grant after her, that this has been a really great process um, of finding projects for people uh, funding ideas of people who have projects they want to work on. And so today um, we have two projects that we funded that both are receiving $2,250 to do something to make Baltimore better. Um, and uh, that we're looking at this as an investment, um, and Jim would be proud of that, as a way for them to give us some return in terms of making the city better. So, um, but, uh, the first one is Celia Neustadt, and she is working with the Inner Harbor Project. She is working um, with two students from each of Baltimore's uh, different high schools to work in the Inner Harbor and figure out um, what's going on there, that a lot of people have seen that there's increasing violence and that students and people just sort of know how to, know to go hang out there and that this is causing some problems in terms of tension with the police and with city officials, and so she wants to take students in there to talk to other students to figure out what's happening and what the city can do about it. Um, and so she will spend the next six months working with these students uh, to figure out what's going on and then put together a plan that will be presented uh, to the city. And so. And she was not able to be here with us tonight. Uh, but our next recipient, Amissa Miller, um, who is working on a project called What Do You Do? For many people who are unemployed, underemployed, or pursuing a passion that isn't actually what pays the bills, that they have a really hard time answering the question, what do you do? Um, and so she is going to take and do interviews with people who are unemployed and underemployed, and then put together a theater piece uh, using both the people she's done, used in interviews as well as local artists, um, followed by sort of a weekend of free performances for people and a panel discussion on unemployment in Baltimore. Um, and so Amissa, I believe that you're here or that you were planning on being here. So if you wanna come on up. So if you see a missile around or if you um, want to contact Celia, um, that there was her information there, please offer to help them, that they both certainly can use connections and other things to help them make their project a su success. And we'll be hearing from them at the next Ignite to figure out what they learned and how their project went. Um, and a huge thank you to the Ignition Grant Committee that there was a group of uh, seven or eight people who helped select, select to help us select these grants, um, that we had 10, um, well, we had 20 applications um, th this year and that we were only expecting 10 of them. And so they spent some time coming through some really, really great ideas. Um, and we encourage everybody that even if you didn't get the Ignition Grant to sort of go out and, and see what you can do to make your idea happen. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. 